Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share with you my routine when I want to do more like full coverage, but I don't wanna to commit to wearing foundation. So this is great to cover up like any hyperpigmentation, sunspots, acne scars or whatnot. So now with the sun being out, I was doing really good with my hyperpigmentation. I was using these lightning pads. My skin was pretty much all even. And then spend a couple days in the sun, even with SPF on. And my spots are back in full effect. This makeup is great for like the pool if you're just hanging out. You know, those days where you want coverage and you still wanna look a little glam, but you don't want like, you know, a full face of foundation. So I'm just starting out. This is the e.l.f. Woe Glow. This is a really good, nice glowy base. Perfect for the summer. It has SPF of 30 in it. It's really nice. I find that it gives a really nice glow, but I don't find that it makes my skin greasy. And I also put it down my neck and I'll put it on the back of my hands as well. So I was using some stick foundation, just one that I normally put on my hands for the most part. I like to keep it in my car. Like for example, if I'm driving or if I forgot to put on sunscreen, I can easily apply it. But I had bought one that was like, it was like store brand. So it wasn't the one that I was used to. And I find that because I used it, it is like, making me break out really bad. So I won't be using that again. I always like to wear a lip balm and this is the Blistex. It's the five star lip protection and it's an SPF of 30. I find that I always have a hard time finding like a good chapstick that also has SPF and this smells really good too. It almost has like a marshmallow fresh type of smell. It's really nice and you get your SPF on your lips so that they're nice and protected too. So I am going to take, this is the Maybelline. This is the cover stick. You can use any type of a cover stick. I just like this. I've used it forever. Mine is in the shade medium beige. The only downside with this is that they only have a few colors, but they do have like a green. So, which is really good. Like it would be really good for more red areas. So I'm just gonna go and put it on the areas where there's like a lot of redness. And I'm also gonna mark out some of my darker spots that I am trying to conceal. It will just help to really hide them better. Now I'm gonna do the rest. So I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. This is the hydrating camo concealer. Love this from the drugstore. It's my absolute favorite. You don't find that it creases under my under eyes like some of the other ones do. And I'm going to use the shade Medium Sand on like this area of my face. So I'm just kind of putting it right over. It's obviously a lot darker. And then also up here. And then I'm gonna go in with Light Sand under my eyes. It's more of like a peachy warm. So it's gonna look a little chaotic at first. <laughs> gonna take, this is a Morphe M439, a really nice buffer brush. And I'm just gonna start blending that in. And I'm avoiding the under eye area for right now. And then I'm gonna drag it a little bit down my neck. I still want the spots and everything to be peeking through. I just am looking for a more even skin tone. And I definitely have a little bit of sunburn going on. A little redness. I did retinol last week. It's always tricky when you're doing it in the summer because you're supposed to stay out of the sun. And I did wear a hat and everything, but it was just so hot that I did my best, but I still, I think I got a little bit more burnt and my skin was more sensitive. So I'm just going to do like one spritz of MAC Fix Plus on my sponge and then blend out my under eyes. It's look very like natural. And I have a whole playlist that I put together I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, I will do it. And I will put it up above here, here in the cards in case you wanna see like my favorite foundations for full coverage stuff, or if you wanna see my full coverage foundation routine, anything to do with full coverage. It's gonna feel a little bit tacky, 
and I do want to quickly set down under my under eyes. So I'm pretty much out of this, but I love this. This is the NYX, this is the HD finishing powder. I have a backup right here. And this is in the shade Banana. It's really good for brightening your under eyes. Doesn't crease or look cakey or anything like that. I'm just gonna use my sponge and press it under my eyes here. I'm also gonna put it in my T-zone where it tends to get a little bit oily and then also stamp it around my mouth and down my jawline. And you'll notice I avoided the cheek area because I like to go in with a liquid blush and then I set it down with a powder brush and that just kind of works. So I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Blush and this is in the shade Virtue. It's one of the newer shades and I really like it. I'll just swatch it. It's like more of a peachy, almost more of like a warm terracotta. So I'm gonna do a couple of dots. I've been liking using a brush blush for that. I just find that it just blends it a little nicer. I'm just kind of swirling around the area. I'm probably going with a little bit more from my hand. Just kind of go on my nose there and then take it a little bit up on my forehead. And I'm gonna go over with, this is the Benefit Butterfly and it is a golden orange blush. It does kind of have like a little bit of shimmer, but not really. And it looks intimidating, but it is so pretty for this time of year. And you only need a little bit. So if your skin tone is close to mine, you just need like one little dot. And it is just my favorite for like a really warm, bronzy, sun-kissed look. So you can see, there's definitely a lot of coverage. It's definitely like a natural full coverage look. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX. This is the matte bronzer. I find that this is very comparable to like a Hoola bronzer. So it has a very rich bronzy with like a little bit of like a red undertone, but it's really pretty for summer. And I just like to dust that on the cheekbones. I'm gonna do a little bit of the setting powder on my eyelids because I wanna do a little soft shimmer. Oh, I forgot to do my eyebrows. I'm just gonna do a little bit. This is the Anastasia brow pencil and then we're gonna glue them down with the NYX brow glue. These lights that I have on me are so hot. I wanted to do this in more of like a natural lighting but I find that every time I open the windows just with the way the trees fall over here. There's like this weird shadow and it just never looks right in this area. So I'm just gonna deal with these heating lamps. I feel like I'm starting to sweat. Now I'm just using the brow glue in dark brown. And I really like this stuff. It's gonna keep your brows slick and in place, but they're not gonna feel crusty which is the goal. We're gonna do the e.l.f. bite size today. So I'm gonna take the truffles one. And I'm just gonna blend the shade right here into my crease. It's a really pretty like warm brown, perfect for the crease. Just like to give that dimension and a nice lift. This palette's really nice if you wanna do a smoky eye and you don't wanna like go in with the dark black, you can do like the brown and then put like a little silver on it. There's a lot of really nice looks that you can do with these little palettes. And they're only like three or $4 and it's a really good quality shadow. So I'm also gonna take that under my eye and just smoke it out. I almost just smoked my eye out with this thing. I'm gonna take these two shades and we're gonna do the deeper one here on the outer portion of the lid and then on like the inner third, I'm gonna take this really like sugar kind of creamy color. They're both like very creamy. Like the quality's really good for the price. Like they just go on so easy. I just like to take that here just to brighten up the inner portion of my eye. And this is almost turning out to be like somewhat of a smoky look. 
but it's really easy. It takes no time at all. It's foolproof. I feel like these shadows blend so nice. Anyone can do it. It takes like no skill at all. So I'm just kind of putting it on the lid and then blending it upwards and that's it. And then this one with the shimmers is called cream and sugar, if you're curious. So anything that I've used today, I will put it down below. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I do have a little bit of mascara on, but we're gonna put more on. And I didn't curl my lashes yet today, so give them a good curl. And then I'm gonna go in here. This is the Essence Lash Princess. And this is the curl and volume. They have a few different kinds of these and I love the green one, but I think that this one, so you can see the wand is kind of like curved. I think that this one is my all time favorite so far of what I've tried of theirs. I put this on this morning. It didn't get like crusty or crunchy and you can go back in and layer it and it layers so nice. It almost feels like a conditioner, like you're putting a conditioner on your lashes. It doesn't cause any clumping. It just causes them to be like very full and lifted, but also soft at the same time. I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom and then we're gonna call it. So I put that chapstick on, my lips are feeling very moisturized and smooth. I'm gonna go in here. This is the Wet n Wild lip liner and it is in the shade Bear to Comment and it is the perfect nude color. It's like your lips, but better color. The only thing I don't like about this but you can kind of get past it because it doesn't linger, is the smell. I mean, I don't know who like sits there and sniffs a lip pencil, maybe that's just me, but it's got a weird scent, but it's not something that like lasts and lingers. And what I do like about it is it's very creamy. Like you could just leave it like this and it would be fine. It blends really nice. I am going to take, this is newer to me and I've really been liking it. I got a couple of shades. This is the Rare Beauty Lip Oil Lip Tint. And this is in the shade Serenity. I had the hardest time like picking out what shades I thought would look good. And I just went by like swatches on people and then it was like totally different what I got and how it actually looked on me. But two of the shades that I got, I really liked. So this being one of them, Serenity. And then I forget the other one. Maybe it's like Inspire. This is such an interesting formula. You put it on and it feels like, it feels like very wet. It's like nothing you've ever really felt before. But then after a while, it gets like minty and just feels really nice. And then once like the shininess goes away, it just dries down to like a very pretty lip stain. See like on the camera, it is showing a lot. Like in the viewfinder, it is looking very bright where in person, it's not this bright, but it does have like a really pretty sheen like you're seeing here. Has a little bit of a tingle, as I mentioned. It's not like like a buxom lip plumper or like a Fenty Beauty Heat type of a burn at all. So it's like very mild. You can barely even notice it, but it does have like a little something there. So that is my go-to routine when I wanna do like a gentle full coverage with just using concealer and some sunscreen and then other products and when I just wanna skip the step of foundation. So I hope you guys like this video. I will put my whole full coverage playlist video here and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.